Oh, I blundered. He blundered too, though. He blundered. I'm okay now. Gotcha. Got you. Got you. There we go. There we go. We got the win. Yeah, classic skewer. Plenty of opportunities there. So let's go G3 here. Thank you so much to Fool Steve Martin for the 18 months. Yeah, let's go bishop g2 maybe d3 knight 2 literally ask anyone with 1k viewers yeah i mean again i i, I mean I, I was wondering when levy was going to put out a tweet saying that slicker asked him for uh for money too thank you so much dr ferris for the 13 months appreciate it thank you so i'll probably play e4 knight f3 just keep it simple playing like king's in the attack ready actually this isn't ready ready c4 but sort of king's in the attack position here very slow very standard 97 Let's go B3, Bishop B2, Fianchito, the Bishop here. Thank you so much to Cert Denied for the nine months. Thank you to Joao Valjo for the four months. Magnus doing for content. Um, I mean, you're very naive. I'll say this. You're very naive if you think that Magnus is doing this for content. Because by doing this, there are a lot of people who are attacking Magnus on social media. Um, there, there are many people who are not happy with this. So to think that Magnus is doing this for content is um a very, very, uh, very strange, strange notion. Yeah, so I mean, it, that's not what it is. Let, let's be real. Bishop A6. Now I can play A4 here. I, I mean, I don't know. I'm going to go D4. This might not be right, but it looks sharp enough that I want to play it. Um, and I can take, I can also just, I guess I'll just take and take, probably. Not super enthused with the position, but it seems fine. It goes knight f6. Now, I can sack here. And, you know, I, in 960, I was sacking left and right, so let's just go for it. Let's just sack. I mean, I was sacking left and right throughout 960, so I really like my position here. This pawn is weak. I have d5 to open up the, the scopes. Looks very pleasant for me. Thank you so much to Mike DeWa for the 40. Thank you so much to Legalac, uh, League Le Legal Lacron James for the three months. Appreciate. It. I guess I'll just take. Why not? It looks like a free pawn. Uh, ban gambling on Twitch. Another topic that I'm going to be talking about later on. Not something I want to get into right now. Let's go d5 oh, now i've got the double x this is really really pleasant for me i think i'm just much much better here but titans got slaughter last night i haven't quite gotten into football now we do have thursday night football coming up in two days first uh, broadcast of the season we're doing we're doing it with uh Dan danny wrench the chief chess officer the cco of chess.com so we'll be doing that um so we have that on thursday so i'm slowly getting into it as far as the gambling stuff, again, a topic that I'll talk about later on, probably, but not right now. So I'm gonna go C4, consolidate. Oh, there's a oh, there's a free pawn there that I could have just taken. I can still take me. Wait a second. No, I mean I shouldn't do it. I think that's yeah. Black so I take. Just took five dollars out of I mean, I have two bishops. And I also have two pawns. So I should be better here if not winning. I think it's so much about block slot for the form of six, six Souther for the prime. Thank you so much. I mean, I suspect I'm... No, 94 is actually... Oh, 94 is a good move, but I can... Wait a second. I'm, I should be winning here if I'm precise, but I have to be careful here. Let's go here, target the knight. Because when he moves, the pawn is guarded again by the bishop. And that looks really good for me. Thank you so much to Orange Crushed for the 12 months. Thank you so much to Orange, Orange Crushed. It goes there, but see, the thing is now, you can't really touch the pawn because the bishop is always guarding it. Now I use my other bishop, and this should just be winning eventually. Um, so let's go here, target the knight. Now I go here, I guess. Again, with these pawns, this has to be winning somehow. I bet 100 Ikar doesn't talk about gambling. Why wouldn't I talk about it? I mean, I expect to talk about all the drama today. 
Things over to SD Retribution for the Prime. Things over to SD Retribution. Appreciate it. Thank you. So, uh, what about the Slicker drama? That's another drama that I'll probably talk about, but not right now. Um, I don't know. I just go Bishop D6, I think, and I'm... Wait a second. Did I mess this up? I can also go rook d8. Wait, wait, wait a second. I don't want to blunder this because this should be winning. Go here. Rook d8 was also probably good. Now I go here, and now I go c5. Now the knight is also dominated, so this is just GG. Now I just win the game. Hmm. What is the cleanest way? I guess this is probably the cleanest way to win here. Now I go here, and take, and that's game over. There we go. We got the win. Thank you so much to Cypher Unknown for the five gifted. Thank you so much to Cypher Unknown. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. So we got the win in round one. We move on to round number two now. All good so far. Can't complain. Was I nervous when the first game yesterday was a draw? Not really. I mean, the second game was far... Was was a lot tenser than the first game, for sure. Do LSF react? Yeah, we want LSF react, yeah. I will probably react to... Uh, I probably will watch the Julius Bear, because again, Title Tuesday usually runs about two hours, and I think, um, I think in one hour we have... Um, we have uh, the Meltwater event, you know, the Julius Bear challenge begins. So... Probably we will be talking about that interspersed with everything else going on. Was I serious about my tweet about Slicker? Yes, I was serious. So it was sort of done as a joke on the one hand, because um, obviously everyone thought I was going to say something about uh, about chess. But on the other hand, it was real. Slicker did reach out to me. So that that was not, that I was not like, that part was not any 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 troll. Thank you so much to Hand77R for the Prime. Let's go H697, of course. Would I rather be no chess drama? I mean, at the end of the day, I think, you know, I think there's people are taking stands and they're on one side or the other and that's that. I'm going to go G5, Knight, G6 here. It's really that simple as I, as I see it. Did I go anywhere good to eat in St. Louis? Yeah, I, I went uh, to some good place, some good restaurants out like in the Burbs. Yeah. So, yeah. I can play C5, Knight, C6 is also a reasonable try. A6 versus B5, there's also B6 here, or maybe C5 next move. It brings more publicity to chess. Um, yeah, I mean, it does, but the, the problem is I don't know what the, the thing that worries me about it is that, you know, when you look at the dramas that generally occur, like on Twitch or whatever, generally in this day and age, they fade very quickly. I'm actually kind of worried that this is not, I, like, I don't see how this is going to fade quickly. That's actually what really worries me about this. Is that I don't think this is this is this is not going to be fading anytime soon. That's that's actually what scares me about it. Is that I I don't see any way this is just fading into into no, into the nothingness. That's the problem. I don't think there's any happy answer. I don't think it's going to be short term. It's that that's actually what worries me about the whole thing. So he takes now. The funny thing is, do I take with the knight or the pawn? I'm going to take with the e pawn. I want to go c5 maybe play in the center. I also have f6 somewhere, so I'm going to do it this way. I think there's a grammar for the 21 turd ferguson for the 18. so that's actually what really scares me about it is that i don't think this is something with it which is going to have a quick resolution at all that that's actually what really scares me about the whole thing i'm gonna go knight g6 and maybe f6 here maybe g4 maybe knight f4 as well i think there's a nemi sidoro for the prime i think there's a nemi sidoro yeah eventually there will be a way for people to cheat over the war without being detected that's gonna suck well as far as that goes i mean what do you want me to say, you guys? I, I, I guess what I would say to that is, well, you know, I guess it's a good thing that I'm on the latter half of my chess career. If that's really true. He goes B5, which is probably a good move. Oh, I have to be careful here, actually. Wait. It's actually kind of scary. I have to be a little bit careful how I do this. A little bit scary. Um, thank you so much, Barbecue TM, for the 12 months. Thank you so much. 
they should be inviting repeat cheaters to events anyway I, I I said this in my video that I did yesterday like my general read on that is one second oh so this is very tricky to play I can play Bishop e4 and just chuck an exchange you know I re-sacked an exchange right I sacked an exchange in the first game yeah fudge it let's just sack an exchange again I just I sacked a rook in the first game let's stick to the theme of sacking rooks I could have played rook c8 but thank you so much to massively for the 20 Lord Nandu for the five and Zots for the 13 thank you so much to Zots thank you also to check Ram Bandu okay but now I go rook c8 94. Lord Nandu just subscribed. The legend. Thank you for all you do. Hmm. It's very tricky. Okay, I'm gonna go here and hit the queen. I'm probably still gonna sack the exchange because I, I just don't I don't like my rook on c8. I mean he can take two, I guess. This queenie won, which now w just resubbed for 12 months. Yo. I don't care. I'm just gonna take a pawn. I don't care. Who cares? I wanted to sack I want to sack my rook to begin with I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure that I sack it anyway I switch to alley ww for the 12 months I assume h7 must be the safe square I think it's a Toby for the prime okay so he takes so now I have to take I mean I have d3 I have bishop b3 I've got knight of six knight c5 all kinds of big threats here so he takes I mean d3 must be right protect the bishop create a pass pawn oh I had knight f4 which I uh, I should have played knight f4 right away I also have knight f6 I mean this is very sharp though very very sharp position I think I'm gonna go knight f4 to here to hit the queen and then I have 92 check as well feels like somehow I should be better here I feel like I should be winning here Knight c5, knight c5. I think I'm just gonna go. Wait, I have to make a move though. I can't think forever here. Let's play queen e8, maybe. I mean, I really don't want to take. Oh, with a move though, I'm thinking too long. <clears throat> um, let's see. Okay, I think I'm just gonna play it. Takes take, of course. Okay, now I can't lose. At least now, now there's no danger of losing, but still remains very, very sharp. Okay, goes rook e4 and go knight g4, but I don't really want to do that. This is this really is the problem with playing actual slow chess lately. Is that now it's like I'm. Uh, yeah, I'm just thinking too long. You get too used to playing slow, and now it's hard to move fast. Check. Um. Yeah, I see I'm moving too slowly here. That's a blunder. Yeah, now now I win because he can't guard everything. I think. Yeah, now okay, now I just win. United prevails just took five dollars out of this checkmate. Yeah, I just checked me. Okay, we get the win, two out of two. Thank you so much to United Prevails for the eight giant Todd's for the nine ruins lover for the ten and otter as well. Thank you so much to Little Dunlopy for the two months. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay, so let's see. What else do we have? A uh, bunch of games still going in round two. Tough game, but we get the win. Let's watch Jeffrey. He's playing against um King F3, King G A7? Or King A7? I'm guessing this should be a draw of correct play, like King H1, maybe. Rook H7. Rook F7. And then Rook F6, Rook F7, and 
all should be a draw. Although now black can actually play bishop e3 and take the pawn. Things are to U1 GG. Oh, I said your name correctly for the first time in 10 months. Yeah. If Mag is 100% sure Han's a cheater, we can't prove it. Just refuse to play a term. Don't ruin it. I like this. Give me three points to a player. One side. Somehow this went wrong for. Yeah, White somehow misplayed this while I was talking. Um, yeah, again, we'll be talking about all that later on. So, yeah, we'll talk about it later on. So, yeah. Knight, I mean, eventually black can bring the knight around. The question is, can white get to the, um, can white get to a rook and, okay, knight e3 and knight d1. Or knight, no, knight g4, f2, this also works. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so this game's over, so everybody's still some games, but starting third round soon. Did Magnus sign a contract? Uh, as I said in my video yesterday, I'm under the impression everybody signed a contract in advance. So, regardless of what happens or what happened rather in St. Louis. I think everybody had already agreed to play before that. Maybe not all the players in the tournament, but like Hans and Magnus, I think both of them had already agreed to play. And I'll probably say this later too, but I think one thing that people, when they think, you know, it's, it's a very bad situation for Magnus from a standpoint, if you think about it, um, Magnus, yeah, you can say don't play in the same tournament, but how exactly is Chess24 supposed to uninvite Hans? I mean, uh, what are what are they supposed to oh there was an interview and you answered the question okay um i haven't i haven't seen that interview so fair enough um i can't i can't wait to finish title tuesday first yeah i'm just like title tuesday is like the uh it's like the appetizer title tuesday is like um it's like you're going and you're eating that uh, you know it's like you're eating that you know greek salad or something it's like it's like this is the appetizer what if they're paired in the knockouts i assume if they're paired in the knockouts magazine would be like I don't give a freak and he's just gonna not play that's my guess so yeah oh top eight players automatically invited right but that's it's that's actually along the same lines as a contract though where it's like okay so if top eight are automatically invited how do you uninvite him you can't really do that without like a really good reason that's the thing you can't really do it so it's, it's very bad and then for magnus obviously he's the face of the company don't forget that magnus at the end of the day he's his company's supposed to be getting bought out like they're supposed to be getting bought by um they're supposed to be getting bought uh, bought out by chess.com so like if he's not playing this it's all going down like that might affect the merger potentially is is also something I I view it as I could be wrong on that but again yeah why am I not in the tournament I was too busy yeah Yay! it's so much AL for the 40 months go Bishop G2 why don't I stream on um why don't I stream on YouTube as well uh you can't Fun fact, you guys, but I, I mean, when, when we saw these statements about how they said you can multi-stream and all these things, you can't. If you're a partner on Twitch, you can't do that. Okay, so I guess I'm going to play Knight C3 here. Yeah. This castle here, I guess I'll play E4. He's probably playing Bishop. No, okay, so I'll play E4. I don't even know if E4. Why did I do this? This is just headed towards a drawish middle game. So stupid. Okay, um... Yeah, this is kind of silly by me. I mean, I could have played Bishop E3 too, I guess. Bah. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty black. Yeah. I also have H3 here to kick the Bishop probably. Okay, so he does castle. So how do I do this? I guess I will just play H3 and force him to trade. Okay, so he doesn't take. So now he gives me room to start expanding though. So I'm going to go B4 and B5. I'm actually starting to like my position a little bit here. So anyway, anyway, okay. I guess I will trade. I'll go Bishop E3 here. Rook D3, Rook C1, and then Bishop F1. Looks like I still have B5, which is lurking. I also have A4, maybe Knight D2. I like my position, but I don't know how clean this is in terms of an advantage. Yeah. Oh my god, this is the guy you were playing when you said you didn't think of it as much streaming as playing chess from three years ago? Is that true? I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, as I said, I mean, we'll be talking about that a lot. We'll talk about XQC, train wrecks. I mean, that kind of drama. There's slicker drama. I mean, so much drama. So much drama everywhere. Chess.com baited Magnus against Hans so they can buy it for less. That's a great one, you guys. You guys are on fire today. Yes, he, he baited them. He baited them, right? 
Yeah. <laughs> I love I love that theory. That's that's a good theory. I like it. I'm digging that one. Um I mean I still have B5 here. That's a good theory. I, I like that, yeah. I mean I feel like I'm better here. I mean, I have B5 at Bishop F1. just subscribed greetings from malaysia thanks so much to doc education for the 23 thank you so much to one of the stars for the 14 sayas for the nine months thank you so much to sayas appreciate it. thank you so much Hanging with the warlord. yeah it probably goes a6 and a4 or he plays f6 i guess it plays f6 so now i assume if a4 he probably plays a5 a4, A5, B5, Knight B8 doesn't look great. So I think what I'm going to play is I'm going to play A3 to consolidate first. And then I have like Knight maneuvers or Bishop maneuvers later. He plays A6. So again, I'm not really sure though. What is he doing? I have Knight H4, Knight F5 here. I also can just play Knight D2. I'm going to play Knight D2 because I still keep Bishop F1 in my back pocket. I still can play F4. Knight H4, King F7, Knight F5, Bishop F8 looks a little bit superficial. So I don't really love it. Thank you so much to High Roller for the 34 months. Thank you so much to High Roller. Appreciate it. Thank you. If it goes Rook D7, I think now I'm going to go Bishop F1, try to take some space on the Queen side. Maybe A4, B5 somewhere. Okay, I could play H4, H5. I don't know if I want to do that. That creates a fixed pawn structure. A4 is a move that I kind of like now. Um, or Rook B1 Rook B and A4 maybe. I'm going to try to be... Actually, you know what? I'm going to play H4. This way, there's no F5, Bishop, G5. So I'm going to play H4, first of all. Okay, it goes H5, and now I'm going to go Rook, B1. Because I don't want some F5, Bishop, G5. Because my Bishop is really good here on E3. So I don't want to give him any opportunities to trade it off. It goes Knight, D8, which I kind of expected. But now I start to take space on the... Uh, I start to take some space on the Queen side. I think I'm starting to get a bit of a... It's becoming a bit unpleasant for my opponent here. Doesn't mean it's like losing, but it's a little bit unpleasant now. Thank you so much to Andy Moab for the 14 and Vinesome for the 12 months. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. So he goes G5, which isn't that just a blunder? What? Isn't this just a what? Very strange. Now, do I take with the knight or do I take with the bishop? Is also a question. I guess I take with the. Bishop takes is fine, but I think knight takes has to be correct. Because now I get two bishops and the game goes on. And he's got no time either. So let's just drop back, I guess. I'll probably go here. I have f4 maybe. Hmm. I can also play b5 here if I want. I can also just play f3. I mean, there's so many ways I should be better here, but let's think about this. Play b5. Bonding Seth just subscribed. Wow, 21. I know f4 looks like the right move, so I'm gonna play it. It might not be, but it looks like the right play. Bishop G4 is a very good move. Um, very good move. I did not actually expect him to find it. Kind of annoying. Okay, let's go here. Okay. Hmm. i go here. So I can take and check now. I guess I check this way. I have e f yeah, yeah. Now, now that now the B's become very active, and now I mean this is just too much. Yeah, this is just overwhelming. The two B's are too strong. I can obviously trade. I can also just take. No, no, actually takes is insane. Huh. Trade and take. I'm up a pawn here, but this is not trivial to win. Huh. I take fifty-two. Oh. oh, I have rookie four. What am I? Yeah, rookie four and e7 should be good enough. But he goes that way. And now I should be able to. They can go here, and I have check. And again, the bees are just going to control all the diags. Okay, now. Um, it's a lot trivial. Oh, why did I... Wait, why did I do that? I 
Okay, still the bees are very strong here. I have to make sure I don't accidentally walk into some kind of repetition here. That's why I did this. Let's go here. King B6, and yeah, this should just be winning. He's got no time. Uh, I could take, but I think I, I don't want to. Okay, if this isn't winning, I don't know what is. Because now I've got 3v1. Um... So here, King B6 to A6. Very simple. There we go. We got the win. All right. Three out of three. Thank you so much to Eric Siri for the 30. Bonnie Sus for the 21. Sasente for the 7. Ezekiel Sabatino for the 28. Kick flip. Kick flip over Mom for the tier 1. And Suosaki for the Prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Anyway. Here we go with round four. Okay. We're playing M. Bojan. I play this guy a lot, actually, in Title Tuesday. Do a draw materialist? Nope. Nope. Okay, um, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play a little bit more on the edge again, so I don't want to be too over the top uh, or too solid, I should say. Okay, let's play King's Indian. This is my opening from my childhood, so why not play it? Okay, he's gonna play the Petrosian system. This is one of the earliest systems I actually learned. Now he plays Bishop E3. Wait, but this is um. No, oh, actually, wait. No, I'm trying to recall the order of this. He's going to play this one. So I go here in IC5, and this is all very standard. I think I have this in the European Club Cup in 2015. Something very similar to this. So he plays H4. So I go Bishop F6, of course. And then I play like Knight C5 or Knight B6 next move. The Bishop's very passive behind this uh, pawn on E5. He's always a fly to root for the 23 months. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It goes H4? I don't believe this is correct. I mean, hey, if, if I'm wrong, this is just bad, so be it. I, I'm, I'm kind of curious. I want to see this. I'm almost certain this is not right. Yeah, I don't believe that this is correct, but I could be wrong on that. Prep? No, this isn't prep, but um, it doesn't feel right somehow. We're going to see what he does on his next one, because I, I might go for a sack again. I might try to do another theme sack. Oh, he played queen e2. I, was, I thought he was going to go bishop h6. If he played bishop h6, I might have just played knight c5 and sacked a rook. So that seems to be the theme of the day. Um, but yeah, I'm going to play f6 and rook f7. Just I don't think he is an attacker unless I'm just insane. I mean, I do have to be careful, obviously. But I don't really believe this somehow. And he's moving very slowly, which also means that I, I should... Oh, wait. If I go here, he can take and sack and... That might be mate. So, okay, let's play rook f7. Yeah, I played g5, which I expected. Um, I don't think it's correct. Maybe it's okay. This doesn't... I'm not believing this. This just doesn't look right to me. Oh, wait, he's playing this. I guess I'll go here. It goes knight g5. I expected that. Um... First of all, I can take. I don't have to. Play this. I don't really believe this somehow. This just doesn't look right. Hmm. Oh, this doesn't look right. But again, it's very hard to play because this is uh, the Blitz game. You don't have all the time in the world to figure it out. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I, don't... I can't really sack an exchange easily here. Kind of don't want to take, but this is the problem with playing. I've just been playing too much, too much normal chess over the board. So now I'm like, I don't, I don't, I just like I'm 
thinking too moving too slowly like this guy's bojan this is not fabiano i don't know why i'm thinking so long ridiculous this is kind of scary though i think i've done something i feel like i did or i feel like i did something wrong here he goes rick Chu. He, wow he just chucks another pawn i did not expect that um wait this seems like too much somehow wait a second i've got to come with a move though okay wait a second knight a4 maybe f2 queen e3 i mean again i'm looking for sacks but let's just go here i don't think this is the right move though why did i do? okay I, now i have to take and now i feel like an idiot why didn't i just take this pawn right away again so stupid to play knight before i mean i'm one move away from probably being fine though i just need one two three i just need three moves to be winning i can also maybe sack too like there are sacks that abound um Yay! go clean off seven i don't like it so i guess i'll go back discard ng3 okay what is the threat knight a4 maybe uh this is problem is i've got no time that's the problem with this position whatever i'll just play this queen h4 logical no actual threat though Nah, I'm moving too slowly. Now my knight's getting in, actually. Wait, he made a mistake, I think. blundered he blundered too though he blundered I'm okay now gotcha got you got you there we go there we go we got the win yeah classic skewer loses the loses the queen thanks for D Bennett for the 13 thanks for the C's McGee's for the six pyre for the 12 manifest for the two Conlard for the prime, Striker for the prime, and Kuri's Ma with the prime. I mean, this, this should have just been bad, right? No, maybe. Oh, so maybe this is. No, actually, maybe this is just bad for me. Interesting. I didn't believe him. I thought this was nonsense, but maybe it's. Maybe it's actually good for White. Doesn't matter. Prep will only get you so far in life. Um, apparently, this G4 is actually just fine not g4 h4 yeah mm, that's how it goes mm, interesting interesting so yeah all right um so we get the win we're on four out of four pretty good stuff so far can't complain that game was sus yeah <laughs> yeah it was a tough game but we get the win we are on four out of four the the dream is still alive so i'm taking my first break you guys we're gonna come back and keep rocking and rolling along and that's that maybe it wasn't prep no he's probably trying to recall whether h4 was like the line or what what exactly the correct move was there and then he played it out more on instinct than anything else 
But anyway, I'll be right back, you guys. Gonna take my first break. Am I? What, what's this? Uh, why can't they check him firmly? I, I don't. Know, I mean, again, it's very weird, you guys. Because okay, here we go. Okay, I'm playing Benjamin. Uh, I'm gonna play C4. I don't actually know what Benjamin plays against the English, so I feel like playing the English. Were there any chess drops in the last hour? No, but we're 13 minutes away from the event beginning, actually. Um, I'm going to play D3. Okay, plays G6. So Benji wants to play... I'm going to play B4 and Bishop B2. I don't even know what, what I'm doing exactly, but it looks interesting. So let's just play. Probably I'll go G3, Bishop G2, maybe Knight BD2 at some point. But yeah, like in 13 minutes, it all begins. Um, but we'll see. He goes d6. Let's play g3. Bishop g2, knight bd2. Maybe knight c3. Actually, the bishop doesn't really belong on b2 in these lines, I realize. But such is life. Thank you so much for the 26 months. Thank you so much to Hoonish. Appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, I I wasn't going to uh, stream it just because, it, it, again, it's such a serious event. It just it feels, it feels weird in a way. It's like... I mean, if I if I stream like the CGC and I do poorly, like I lose a match, it's like I've wasted my shot at the grand prize of two hundred thousand dollars, and like, what exactly? Why? Like, for for what? Like, for for content for a video? Like, eh, it feels a bit wrong. Okay. Um. Think. What do I want to play here? Just play E four. I can trade and play ninety two. It's actually pretty drosh. Huh, I don't really like what I've done. Hmm, I guess I'll just take and make the draw. I, I don't really want to gamble here. It's better to be solid here than risk a loss. Thank you so much, Pioneer B for the 12 and Snoori for the 11. Am I working with Magus in some capacity? Not right now, no. But because streaming is your job, yeah, but like that's the thing. It, it, it is, but still, in the in the really big events, you want to give it your all. You, you don't want to ha be in some situation where something goes wrong. It's like, yeah, that little instance where I'm talking to chat and I'm, I'm like explaining my moves and suddenly you make a bad move and you, you throw the whole thing away. Like, I, I don't really want to be in that situation. Okay. Um. I don't know if I can do this, but I'm going to try to do this. I could have played Knight A3 too. Actually, Knight A3 was better, I think. I would have guarded and had this idea. I want to go queen b2 and knight d5 and do something. Okay, so he does take, which I just realized. And knight a3 was the square. I don't know why I went to c3. Okay, so I'm going to go here. I can always play checker here. He does have c5. Okay, so he plays this. So I'll check. I'm going to play Rook D1 here. I might be marginally worse, but I, it's hard for me to believe that I can be, like, much worse just because he's got such passive pieces here. Like, there's so many problems here. This right triangle is a big issue as well. So he plays B6, so, I mean, can obviously take and probably is just headed for a draw. Oh, he plays knight e5. Interesting. I did not expect that, actually. Because now... Somehow I'm a little bit suspicious of Benjamin's play here. This looks a little bit strange. Oh, thank you so much for the three dollars. $3. Can't you stream without looking at chat or making any comments in your special that he plays enough for us? Yeah, but again, I'm so used to it. Like, it's not something where you can just turn it on or off. That's the thing. So, okay, I have to be a little bit careful. Go here. I mean, yes, you're you're right that theoretically, of course, I can do that. But like, I'm so used to it now that it's just it feels a little bit weird. I think it's actually Jay Breezy for the eight. This is going to be a draw undoubtedly, but I'm trying to do something here to complicate the situation. So, thank you so much to K three LLEX for the prime. Appreciate. It. Thank you so much to Poppy Pizzas for the prime. So yeah. He's thinking for a long time. He's trying to come with a movie. He plays Rook D8, which is, I mean, of course, the rock solid attempt to make a draw. I really don't want to trade. I mean, Rook C1. Let me make sure. Rook C1, C4, F4. Make sure there are no tactics. I don't actually see the tactics. Wait, am I blundering something here? 
Oh, okay. Um, I mean, this is still nothing special, but now I'm better here. I'm just clearly better in this end game. Very surprising decision by Benjamin. Still should be a draw, of course, but... Uh, now, if I take... Ch Wait, if I take check king f1... I understand, am I missing something? I just go... here I should just be better a little bit confused by this play um I think both moves work let's just go here Okay, it's a trade into the end game. And with perfect play, this is still a draw, but I'm up a pawn, so I can't ever really lose. Let's work D7. I'm going to play G4 slowly to try to build something on the king side here a little bit. Let's go E3. I don't like G5 by Benjamin. Go here. Got to cut off the knight jumps. Knight h8 is actually a very interesting move. Play h4? Yeah, I think I'm just going to play h4. Takes, I go king h3. Yay! Yeah, I expect that's a good move. So let's play h5. Try to make the draw here. takes okay so yeah that's just a draw the rookie seven actually i feel like benjamin's misplaying this a little bit it's still probably a draw It's actually a draw. I think it is, right? There's no triangulation. Yeah, I think this is a draw. Yeah. Unfortunate. Yeah, there's no triangulation because the pawn's in the wrong square. Yeah, it's just a draw. Unfortunate. Thank you so much, Gotham Noob. I mean, I don't think I ever was had a chance to win. I mean, Knight H8 was... Maybe I had something here. H4 was right. I should take and play F5. I mean, it's better. Is it enough to win? Unlikely. Yeah. Why do people not try to win against you? Oh, they do. I mean, I got I got what I want. I was up a pawn, but it's just... I mean, maybe here... But I mean, Queen C5 is better. But I mean, all roads lead to the same end game. Probably G4 was actually my mistake. I shouldn't have done that. Probably G4 is wrong. Probably here I could have, like, massaged it more. Like, get some better setup. Maybe H4 and then G4. Something like this. But move 45, G4? What do you mean? Oh, gee. oh, when he played, oh, when he played rookie seven. Oh, oh, right here. Oh, I did it at the wrong point. Ah, oh, if I do it here, it's actually winning. Wait, why is this? I have rook g4, huh? Wow, okay. Yeah, I think so it's JP. Although there's also, yeah, to be fair to Benjamin, also, he can also just go h6. It, or wait, no, maybe he can't. No, here he can play. Yeah, he can play h6 here at this position. And like this, this should be a draw. Like this, this is just a clean draw. So yeah. Yeah, th this, this is just a draw. So yeah, he, he missed h6 earlier, but yeah, it's all good. Oh, okay, not a big deal. Four and a half out of five. I missed a win on move two with d4. Oh, right. Yes. On move two, I missed the win, right? Yeah. I, after c4, Benjamin Blunder with knight of six and d4 was just winning, right? Yeah. Okay, let's see some other games. Yeah. Watch Jose. Jose wins against Jigalco. Not too shocking. Things with Jay Dizzle for the six months. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, you guys. Um, okay, I get Raz. I'm just going to keep playing G3. I don't really want to play anything too exciting today.
Hey, there's an RMC RKD for the 12 months. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. RMC RKD just resubbed for 12 months. So I'm going to play D3, maybe Knight F3. I'm just going to do what I did before. Something simple. Yay! Let's play Knight C3. I don't know. Castles, maybe. Thank you so much to NSA Magic for the 19 months. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm going to play E4 like I did before. Probably he'll play like C6 Castles. Okay, so I guess we're going to play another end game, maybe. <laughs> maybe he's going to play Bishop B4. Okay, he doesn't. Um, so this Castle, why not? And play B3. I can also go like Queen E2. I'm just going to go Queen E2 and Bishop E3. Keep this very, very simple. Maybe. It should be three was not the best move there, but it should work out anyway. Not a big deal. Rasmus Fain sounds like a comic book villain name. I, I mean, maybe. Okay, so how do I rotate here? I need to rotate something. C3 is not the right move. Rook D1 is probably not right. Too drawish. I mean, I can play 91 maybe. Uh, I don't like this at all. So let's just go here. Could Magnus just be upset about his rating? Uh, I mean, it has nothing to do with his rating. Uh, that's like the two the two other theories that I've seen people talk about pretty much nonstop. There are two theories. There's a theory that basically uh, that Magnus like prep got leaked. This this the whatever you want to say, like some silly thing like that. That is not what it is. Um, so that's first and foremost. And the second thing is yeah, the, the other one is that somehow he's mad about 2900 or so, something ridiculous like that too. Also, of course, complete nonsense. It has nothing to do with that. So I'm gonna play. Uh, 91 and maybe 93 here. Yeah. I don't even know if 91's right. 92, knight c4 is a more thematic move. Black is bishop c5, and then we just draw the game. So I don't really want to do that. I'm going to play knight d3 here. Oh, is he going to go knight f6 now and some knight g4 maybe? Hard to judge. Things so much a kinder cardinal for the tenant. Yo, beeps for the prime. They add him for the prime as well. Okay, it goes b6. I don't know if I want to play a4, but... Yeah, I think I'm going to play a4 here. He plays a5, so now we get this structure. Very standard. Knight c5 never removes so that he loses e5. Very important that he can't go knight c5 here. I actually really am starting to like my position more and more. I feel like I'm doing well. Thank you so much to Ghosty for the prime. Thank you so much to Ghosty. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay, so he plays f6, which... I don't know, it feels sketchy. I mean, he wants knight c5, but I think I can just go I go to e1 or b2. I guess I'll go to b2 and go back to c4. So I play h5, of course, because f5 I just take. I mean, the structure is not ideal for black. It's still probably okay, but it doesn't feel quite right somehow. Okay, so I guess I'll go here, just guard the pawn. Maybe I have bishop g4 somewhere in here, too. Problem is his rook is under attack, so he doesn't have a five. He plays rook c8. Of course, I can trade into an end game. Do I really want to? Probably not. Um, what is his idea? Actually, I'm confused. Let's go here. I'm a little confused. What his idea is? And now he plays knight b7, which. Okay, so now he's trying to put his knight on d6. So there's a much better square. Play c4. I think I'm just going to stack my rooks, though, here. Just stack the two towers. Try to create a lot of pressure in the center of the board. I mean, c5, I have c4. Or just rook d1. Now we're... Play c4, I don't want to. Bishop g4 doesn't look right. How do I do this? I'm thinking too long again. Where can I put my knight? Where can I put my knight? I can't put my knight anywhere. I'm just going to go back. I'm just going to chill. Okay, but now I can try to open it up a little bit, maybe. Now, I guess I take with a bishop. Knight takes is also very interesting, but I don't know. 
We'll go e5 and take. I mean, it's getting very sharp, but pre move this. Oh, there's also bishop c6, I just realized, maybe. Knight d4, which feels kind of wrong. Here. Oh, wait, he's threatening knight c2. I just realized, shoot. What am I doing? I just realized I blundered. Oh, great. Burritos underscore galore just subscribed. That's a mistake too by me. Takes. I can obviously take, but I'm not too worried. It's very tricky for both sides here. I mean, everything's kind of hanging. Ah, shoot. It's this really going to be a draw, too. I mean, I guess I should have played Rook F1 here, but he still trades. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. It's just a draw. Ugh. No, I was definitely better here, I think. I, th I think somewhere around here I was better. Ah, I'm supposed to take with the knight. Yeah, I take with the knight. I'm just... Oh, right, because then I can take and go E5. Yeah, I'm actually just an idiot. Yeah, I, I forgot that this E5... Should... Wow, that's so stupid. Yeah, if I take with the knight, I would have won this. Ah, uh, so stupid by me. Oh, uh, very poor. Yeah, that's what it is. Not a big deal, but frustrating nonetheless. Okay. 